I can see it's all the whack I'm pulling out the top of my back I don't know why you are here Even though that you can feel All around this planet You can see that I handed it to the next level of pensions But I got no anxious Cause I'm taking it step by step I can see the God's plan cut this fucking thing off here anyways boom back to another great episode maybe i was really loud on that i don't really give a fuck there i am big screen there i am all set thank you um he's straight from um circling the world he saw the uh, war from up above you know uh war is terrible but from up above it's even horrendous you know even more horrendous anyways um yeah i know i made a big mistake the other day you know so you know, I had a plan here, and I was going to do some stuff, and I was going to show you. I made this table. So this wood used to be up there, and um, I didn't like it. So I took it down. Now I like this studio even better, you know. Um, man, I'm cracking. Is it over there cracking? Boom, boom, cracking over there. Just not my headphones cracking. Who knows? We'll see. What... I think the compressor's cracking, but that's okay. You be cracking, foo. Um... Uh, um, I am definitely not cracking. I'm Mexican. Um, so anyways, yeah, I made this table and I was really eager to bring it over. And I also made a badass spray paint painting. You know, you go to Vegas or they have the guy on the sidewalk and he does like planets and he made it with spray paint. Yeah. So I made like seven now. I'm done. I'm not doing it anymore because I ran out of spray paint. Okay. Anyways, so I made a I took down the old painting. I took it out because I put the shelves up, and I wanted a different look at that. You know, that look. I made that painting over a decade ago, and I'm, as an artist, I'm just constantly evolving, and I hate to stare at something over and over again. I can stare at that one for a little bit longer, but I'm going to get rid of that one, the one behind all set. You know, that one's going to be gone too soon, but I don't know. Um, maybe I will spray paint some more. Anyways, um, and then the table. So I spray painted the table. I mean, I lacquered it up. I stained it. I made it how I want to make it. I made these holes in it so I can put more microphones, and then... Over here, I made a little access hole so I can put these microphones here. So it's totally accessible. I just left over wood, you know. So <coughs> not too fancy, but not too bad. Anyways, the mistake I made was bringing it in too early. So I haven't been able to podcast all week because this fucking room is full of lacquer and spray paint. I tried to come in today earlier, and I, I just said, finally, fuck it. I took everything back out. I took the table out. I took the spray paint painting home i took them out in the sun i let them dry out and then i uh, brought a fan in i opened up um and just let it air out so you know sometimes you win some sometimes you lose some and uh yeah that's how that goes huh can't help it, but notice that i got a couple notes here did i put it here some things i wanted to talk about i get mad with my notes don't transfer from uh computer to computer if you're an apple guy you won't understand what I mean. Uh, Rachel, Rachel Delazar. You know who that is, Rachel Delazar? Helicopter crash. No, she didn't have a helicopter crash, by the way. Um, Tinder swindler. I mean, these, some of these notes are really old. Um, was this QAnon? Um, Russian soldiers quitting. Well, I had a couple of good points. I should have fucking wrote that shit down. I did. I think it's that word at home. Anyways, um, so yeah, what do I want to talk about? Um, the war. No, I don't want to talk about the war. Uh, I just want to come here and say how I made this awesome table. That's basically all I got for you. You know? Was it about penis and boobs? No. Rage? War? No, that's a song. A set. Um, yeah. Um, I've noticed that uh, there's this campaign of people going around. I turned on the news, and, um, you know, they're getting rid of masks in all these towns. And, and it's, they're still, like, it doesn't matter, like, what town you go in. There's always a group of people that still are trying to get the mask you know, still out there, you know, and the group, I think it's called, um, ugly people, <laughs> fucking ugly people wearing masks. Anyways, I thought that was funny. Um, while well, watching, um, if you, you know, um, we naked choke should be called the Cosby. I already said that one. Um, uh, if you're watching, uh, like the war as if it's like a TV show, which is not the war is a terrible war. Um, 
Oh, that's where I get, I'll lead into where I'm going here. But, um, man, it's crazy to see, like, CNN is pretty much unified to show, like, hey, there's the war. It's terrible. But if you turn on Fox News, oh, my God, there's, like, a, a far right side that think that Joe Biden planned the war and then Donald Trump would have saved their day. Um, that fucking, I guess, oil prices. I don't think people know how – we are a capitalist country. You know, we're not a socialist country, so – the, our country, our government doesn't control the oil. Um, sometimes we can put on regulations for oil prices, but typically Republicans are against regulations. They think they want open free market capitalism. So when you have free market capitalism, you know, you the oil companies kind of charge what they want to charge and then make up bullshit like, oh, my God, bad weather. Guess what? We couldn't get oil. Like, isn't the oil underground? What does the bad weather have to do with... I don't fucking know. It's like almost getting like charging you different prices for water. It's like, you know, uh-oh, we had to pump water differently. No, bitches, the water is the water, you know? Anyways, um, so you know there's 9,000 open contracts right now to drill in America. And there has been for a long period of time. But we're not going to, you know, just give you more contracts. You have 9,000. But the oil companies don't want to use the oil they have. They want to use other oil because it's easier just to, to buy and sell the oil. Rather than have to grow the oil. Like, if you were going to be the weed man, would you be rather be the middle guy just buying and selling the weed? Or you want to be the guy have to grow the weed, fucking make sure the weed is good, dry the weed, and find a fucking buyer? No. You just want to be the middle man, okay? So anyways, the oil companies are trying to be the middle man. Now they fucking lost one of their drug dealers. Now they're going to have to go back to trying to get to these 9,000 wells. But what they want to do, check this out, bro. You want to see a bad decision? There's three big wells off of a California coast. Um, we had a big, big oil spill. Oil spill, if you know, on the little soap thing, there's a fucking duck on there. And if we're all educated, the duck is there because soap helps fucking um, clean off the fucking animals. And uh, Don helped the oil spills. Anyways, <clears throat> long history of oil spills. So anyways, the three oil spills off the coast of California, they fucking had one of the biggest oil spills ever and the hard time to get him capped. And finally we got him capped and safe. And now the oil companies obviously are like, Hey, let's get back out there and suck, suck that oil back up again in California. And silently, cause they're not going to come out and say it, but the Homeland of defense said, no, we're not going to let you put three big ass oil rigs off the coast of California when we might go to fucking World War Three right now, you know what I mean? Like, it'd be easy for someone to just send a torpedo to those fucking built-up bombs outside the coast of California. And guess what? West Coast, hard to get to when it's full of fucking, uh, you know, oil. And then, guess what? You throw a couple of napalm bombs out there in the oil, the whole fucking thing's on fire. You're fucked, right? So, no more surfing. So, surf and turf if you're out there. Surf and burn. Anyways, uh, wear your suntan lotion. We're not, they're not going to get the oil off. They're gone. Come on. Let's get this shit together. Oil prices are crazy right now, but that's capitalism. you got to pick and choose what we want. We're going to need to have some government step in and have some regulation. And, you know, or you know, free capitalism. You know what I mean? Like, we know capitalism sucks. We've been trying to tell you guys forever. Don't trust these motherfuckers. They're like, oh, Companies are cool. They're so nice. They'll take care of you. You know, hey, if you want help from a company, they give you a number. Just call them up. Hey, company. Hey, nice guy. Oh, sorry. It's not even a person. It's a computer. They're fucking, they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. Man, I've been looking for, um, I, have a, I have a building I'm trying to get into. Um, we're close to that, close to the getting inside the building. Um, but anyways, I've been calling all kinds of other buildings and, um, pfft, People do not answer their motherfucking phone. There's phone numbers all over the place. The people finally answer me are the people I want to talk to, so it worked out great. But uh, other people, man, they will not answer the phone. Man, anyways, yeah. So, oh, I don't know if I've told you. If you're here, you're here. If you ain't, you ain't. We know that. California is cool. I love it. Anyways, um, yeah, push record, um, credit cards, hashtag gamers. Um, yeah, man, I had a good old list on here. I added my favorites on here? No, I don't know. Anyways, I'm always adding more cool stuff. I talked to a couple people this week, too. Um, we're lined up for a couple guests. Um, you know, if they want to come in, they come in. If they don't, they don't. And we just keep on doing what we're doing. But, um, yeah, man, I'm in the motion of a lot of things. There's so many people I've been talking to. Uh, luckily, because the table was all 
fucking fumigating this room. I couldn't come in here. I was at home, so I was editing and I was talking to people. There's a couple producing uh, production companies in town that are looking for a couple shows. So I have a couple shows. Man, I wish I had more people uh, for guests because man, if I had more guests and more people, these people can get a lot of exposure. But asked out, anyways. But the people who uh, are still here, um, um, approves mass spending bill includes humanitarian aid. Oh yay! It's crazy. Like our, I'm, I got a computer on here, so he tells me um, we're gonna send band aids. But we're not going to help, like, stop. It's a crazy situation. So this is what I think is going to go on. Okay? So we're trying to let this this shenanigan go down until they're going to send some kind of special forces, right? Some, like 100 men. Or, like, this is all fucked. Like, the whole thing's like, that's what I'm trying to say is sometimes I, I think, like, we think that we're going to have these 100, I'm about to say, 100 special forces go in and fucking sneak in and they're going to assassinate and fucking... No, that shit doesn't happen. We saw January 6th, they're like, here's a militia, we're going to go after the fucking capital. And it was like a bunch of hillbillies, you know? And they're like, hell yeah, I got it in here, what am I going to do now? I'm going to drink beer. Like, fuck. You know? And I then the, they just arrested the president of the Proud Boys. Uh, and then um, they have secret text messages from him right before January 6th. And apparently you know, he got arrested before January 6th. And then when that happened, the, the whole the Proud Boys freaked out because they thought the FBI was watching them. They're like, oh, they're on to us. Cancel our plans. Get, destroy your computers. You know, the, the fucking liberals are coming for us. So they all freaked out, you know. And then, um, uh, like I said, they, they, they were complaining at that time. They are saying... They're having a hard time organizing because they feel like most of their group was just a bunch of drunk idiots. I don't think they used idiots. I think it was like drunk fools or drunk. They said just a bunch of drunks. They said they need to get rid of these people and start with a new batch of real men. That's what they said. You know, I don't know. It's like weird. Like, you know, our nation, I love America, but like we we were a bunch of drinkers, you know what I mean? Like I was telling my son we were watching Moonshiners. You know Moonshiners? Talk about white privilege. These are white guys. Moon there's there's a couple black guys, but mostly just white guys. I guess I'm pretty sure Moonshine is illegal. And then they videotape them and they have their name and then they put a show out and they get paid for the T V show, uh performing illegal federal illegal activity i guess i don't know and then it's really popular moonshiners and then they have like a reunion it's not like it's like a one-time thing they have like a reunion at the end of the year where they all get together we're like hey fbi they just put out a show and told you what they did and they made it to the crimes you could arrest them but i guess they don't give a fuck i mean if, if you have one of just like you know you know w- weed croppers you know and they just be people growing illegal weed and see how far that fucking goes because i know they do it on instagram people get popped right away and on youtube get shut down it's fucking crazy anyways yeah weed farmers that'd be a good ass show though huh it'd take months i guess there is shows like that but now it's legal you know like what do i see that jim belushi or, or uh, yeah belushi has a uh um his own weed i think it's called belushi weed or no uh what is the fucking blues brother weed blues bro- weed i don't know fucking Anyways, so I said people are crazy. Things are going crazy. The war, like I said, I think uh, I think uh, they're over there. They're losing it. They're losing money. I think our government's going to let everybody kind of like fight their way out a little bit and get a little disagreement and then kind of wear themselves out. And then hopefully we do have some kind of mercenaries around the world. I'm tripping. Like I saw there said there's like twenty thousand volunteers from around the world that signed up to go fight this war. Like, like. <laughs> Okay, I know right now Russia's not doing that great, okay? If it was like a football game, they'd be, be like, they're doing like Detroit Lions right now. They're not doing so good, right? <clears throat> but they still are a professional football team. They still have professional tools, right? So if you think these 20,000 people, I don't know h- how they're going to get from point A to point B. I don't know if they're going to get a rent a car or if I don't know where they're going to stay at, they're going to stay at a, you know, an Airbnb or something in Ukraine. I don't know what the fuck their plan is, but Russia still has satellites and shit. You know what I mean? I don't, 
they have satellite we have satellite images of them they have satellite images of themselves also and they are there and they have cameras and shit so do you think we you're just gonna walk around and not just drop bombs on you? they just drop bombs on a fucking uh, a maternity ward fucking babies and pregnant women you think they're not gonna just bomb these random fucking people you know and then please don't bring your id with you oh the fucking american oh the fucking yankee coming over to a country and then ever, obviously you think that let's say you're there's a canadian a french guy an american and they all cross the border okay <laughs> it sounds like a good joke right but it's not this is reality so they all cross the fucking border um they all die <laughs> Which is terrible. And then the Russians pick them up and they look at them and they say, oh my God, it's a fucking Frenchie and a Canadian, which is a Canadian Frenchie and American, which is American. Uh. Anyways, um, they're not going to think, oh, these guys were, look, these are just private citizens. These are private citizens. Don't work. No, not the military. Private citizens. No, they're fucking, they're going to be like, oh, they're fucking spies. Nuke them. You know what I mean? Like, it's not good. Not, not good. Not, not good. You know what I mean? So, I, it's like football once again. Okay, so you got Detroit Lions over here, and you got the, um, um, the Rams over here. Okay? Detroit Lions tell their team, look, we need to act smart. Okay? Let's not go act dumb and cause a fight. We're going to go out there. We're going to fucking obey the rules. We're going to play aggressively. But let's not start fights. The t coach says that, team says that, captain says that. High five, right? They get on the field. Guy who uh, just got the practice squad gets his first time on the on the out there. He gets someone's face mask, rips the guy's helmet off, and it's a fucking fight. The fucking Rams and Lions are fucking fighting each other. But you don't hear the coaches say, "No, wait, we said we're not fighting. He's not representing us." Like, no, bitches. It's the Lions versus the fucking. Rams and they're fucking fighting. You know what would be cool? There used to be a video game. It was a uh, college football where you play mascot versus mascots. So it'd be like actual Ram versus a lion. That'd be cool. They need to get an NFL where you can play mascot versus mascot. You know, be the commander versus the panther or a packer versus a, a, a fucking packer. What a fucking packer, huh? Ram packer versus a 49er. Hey, come here. Where you going? Get away from me, Packer. I'm not like that. We're just going to play. Two-hand touch, no more tackle. Fuck the Packers. Man. <laughs> so, yeah, that'd be cool. I think that'd be awesome. And basketball, be a Laker. Mm. See, basketball, their team suck. 76er, whoa. See, pff, that wouldn't be appropriate, you know? Bunch of 76ers out there. You can continue the joke as you wish, but I'm not. Okay, so we want to talk about war. I want to talk about Ukraine, guns. Um, I know you're talking about guns. Um, that was it. Yeah, oil. Like, come on. Let's not be dumb about the oil. We gotta be smart. We're saving up the oil. What was that? I had, a, I had an epiphany today. I was talking to my wife, and I figured it all out. I can't remember. I have to rush. I should write this shit down. I know I did. Where did I write down at? Sometimes, you know, so many notes. I think I'm getting tired because I've um, I breathed in way too many fumes here. Okay. Um, pronouns. Um, CrossFit is probably like an anti-vaxxer. Um, sometimes you think you're power fucking. Um... um see here uh let me show you what it does whoa let's have the contents um and then you would stop writing and get back and be like oh yeah and, okay no um um squid games no a skull squid game is pretty cool oh yeah no that's my joke i'm working on you know i remember what it says once but like you know i when I saw Squid Games, it's kind of crazy because there's like, there's not enough ethnic groups in Squid Games. It didn't make sense. Like, there's just all Asian guys. There's not wasn't single one single white guy. You know what I mean? Words the white guy. It's it's just bullcrap. Like, we're left out of everything. I, when I grew up, I watched ninja movie after ninja movie after ninja movie after ninja movie. Every single ninja movie, 
It was an Asian guy who raised a white boy and then raised that white boy to be the best ninja in the world. And by golly, in Squid Games, there should have been at least five white kids who were qualified ninjas that had not fucking DNA-related fathers that were adopted by an Asian guy or perhaps an Asian woman or perhaps who, someone who didn't represent each other. They were like a Gaitian girl. They were just a person and didn't know if they were a guy or girl. No one talked to them that much because they did. Once again, they were ninjas and they fucking kicked you in the face. So Squid Games needed more white people. That's what I was trying to get back to. Um, racism is sexist. Uh, vegan tells costume. Um, let's see here. Magazines. Where our internet. That's true, bro. Um, I got the Cosby. No, um, hand-picked. Hand-picked. This is what it was. Yeah, hand-picked, bitches. High heels. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not telling that one. Dogs. Yeah. Um, hand-picked. Yeah, hand-picked. Hand-picked. Hand-picked sometimes is good, right? Like, if you got a coat. Sir, this coat is especially hand-picked for you. I hand-picked the coat for you, sir. Oh, this is a fucking fancy-ass coat. And tell your friends, this coat is handpicked for me. The dinner. I, I like dinner. Sorry, sir. My, my tongue was handpicked when I lost the war. Anyways, um, the dinner was picked for you. Handpicked. I looked at all the food you like. I know what you're allergic to and what you love, what you love to put in your mouth. So I handpicked the dinner for you, sir. You know. My toenails are, my toenails are handpicked by me. Personally, handpicked toenails. I picked my own toenails. Handpicked. Um, I continue with that, you know, but you get the point, handpicked, you know, doesn't always mean great, handpicked, I got more on that, no, handpicked, um, gray hair, do I mention I got gray hair, you know, when I was a kid, you know, I've been getting gray since I was really young, what is that fucking noise? There's a noise right here. It, it's got it's to go. This? I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Anyways. You know, I've been gray since I was a little kid. When I was born, I was born with blonde hair. And then by the time I was like seven, I had like brown hair. And then I had black hair. And then when I was hitting 20s, the white hair started coming. So, like, I started getting gray early. Just like someone who got bald early. You know what I mean? So, it's... No different when you see someone who's bald, who's 50, you know, and you think that person is fucking old as shit, and, you know, and I'm 45 and I have gray hair, but a full, thick, luscious, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hair, you know what I mean? So, it's not fucking, it's fucking thick hair, that's what I got there, bitches. Anyways, yeah, so, you know, you gray, gray young, and if you're a fucking man, guess what? Don't give a fuck. You know what I did? I fucking started plucking them out one at a time. And then that started hurting. So I said, fuck it. And I just left it. And then I was like, you know, hey, I don't even look at my hair. You know, it's like when I get a haircut. They say, how you want the back of your head? I don't know. I don't look at the back of my head. What does it say? What is my back of my head telling you? Does it say make a V? If it doesn't say make a V, please just make a fucking square. Just, I don't know. I don't look at the back of my head. I don't look at the front of my head. You know, apparently I need my eyebrows done. Look, this camera's not doing so good right on my eyebrows. I got to, where's my, where's my, there you go. That's where I should be. You can, I'm really zoomed in. But anyways, yeah, boom. My eyebrows, man. Got to get those all fucking cleaned up. It's just fucking crazy. But I don't look at myself enough. And if I did look at myself, man, don't. You know the Dr. Pimple Popper? Do not buy the Dr. Pimple Popper set from Amazon. One, it's identical. And how dare they just sell those to anybody? There should be some kind of license or restriction or at least a training video or like some like before and after like, hey, before you put the spatula on your face, let me show you five other people who have now marks on their face from the spatula. You know, but anyways... They give you like a hook and a fucking prior and a spatula and a poker. One of them is actually a fucking 
poker. Like, I don't take it out because it's sharp as fuck and I keep a little plastic piece on it. But yeah, and fucking if I stare at my face, I'm like, oh my God, is that a blackhead? Get the Dr. Pitbull popper. And then I got this reflective selfie type mirror and then it magnifies you. So you like, you can definitely see things that you're not supposed to see. And then you have the tool and you're like, oh my God. Like, it's like, what the fuck is going on, bro? So yeah, don't buy that. And I don't look at myself. Unless I walk past the mirror. And then I don't miss out. That'd be, I don't see. I gotta fix that. I, gotta, I look over here. I should put the TV over there. No, if I put the TV over there, then it'd be looking the other way. So anyways. I just can't. I don't know. That's the way it goes. So yeah, I got, I'm a cam- my TV's over there. I look over there. But when I look over there, I'm looking away. So I can't like. I want to look and look at myself. Like, hey, what's up, Ruben? Like, what's up? High five, bro. But he's like looking away. Like, dude, why don't you ever look at me? Every time I look at you, you don't pay attention. <laughs> Oh, I guess that's something you have to be here to see. Anyways, um, yeah, so I've um, got some guests. I don't even know what today is. Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. got some guests coming in this week. This weekend, uh, there's another fight companion we're going to do. No, we not fight companion. Fight by your side. Um, I'm talking a couple out-of-town comics, trying to get people in here, do things. But, like I said, we're about to move. We're trying to move. So... Don't miss out. And if you did miss out, you already missed out. So, like, share, subscribe. We out. I'm a